camera's gonna be blurry first thing in the morning. Hi guys, and welcome back to the channel. And of course, you can hear my voice. I'm just waking up, of course. Um, so this is kind of, I'm gonna have a day vlog today. Um, the kids are home. We are having a snow day. Um, we're getting snow up here. Yay, fun for us. Well, fun for them, not for me. Um, <laughs> anyways, um, uh, so... We're just gonna have like a little bit of a laid back day because it is uh, snowing and everything. Um, so I got a new t-shirt. It says, yes, they are all mine. Um, those of y'all don't know my channel, I have, well, the camera's gonna act crazy. But anyways, those of y'all that don't know my channel, I have five kids and I have one stepson. Um, I stay very busy. Um, Renata is in course. Um, it's a county chorus type thing. Um, Jasmine just has um, her normal life. Um, she's the only one that's actually in a sport. Um, well, not an SOS sport, but she's the only one that's in some kind of after school activity. Because um, Jasmine has to have a lot of tutoring, to be honest. Um, most time, if you catch me, I'm in some kind of bun. <laughs> and I hardly ever have makeup on. Um, if I do, it's normally just mascara because I stay so busy. Um, so I'm going to brush my teeth and get me some coffee to get me going this morning. Um, I've already weighed myself cause it has been a while since I've weighed myself for, um, my keto diet. But, um, this morning I weighed in at 178. I'll place the video right after this guys. Oh, by the way, the kids are still sleeping. Thank God. It's surprising. It's like 730 in the morning about eight now it's almost about eight o'clock and they are still sleeping like it's a miracle from heaven we're gonna weigh in our all right guys so we're gonna weigh in ourselves, and i'm weighing 178.6 this morning so we're all in our pj still and we're just kind of like enjoying the snow that's going around and it's a lot of snow it's a lot of snow yeah it's a lot yeah. of snow so it's just like snowing I everywhere we're all just we're all just like relaxing and enjoying the snow. I think Jasmine's in there getting a hot cocoa and the other kids wanted warm milk. So we'll get it in just a minute. All right, guys. So you're kind of getting a live view as to what my office looks like from the opposite side. There's boxes everywhere for packaging or whatnot. Um, but I'm going to open up these two packages that I got from Macari. Oh, that's the shirt. Y'all yeah, can see it better now. This also comes from Mahari. If y'all know anything about me, y'all know I love Mahari. Guys, when people send me packages, most of the time, they, I don't know if people are just trying to save money or whatever, in which I have no problem with it at all. But most of the time, they are sending their packages in <clears throat> with plastic bags. I reuse these plastic bags, just so you know. Oh, these are the toys that I got. Um, I think I paid $23 or $20 for um, two throw pillows. They have like a quilted design. I don't know if you can see it. Both of them are exactly the same. And they both come off, so they are washable. They would have me wash before I use. And then it's two Eero pillow shams, which I plan on changing in my living room. And they're just plain white with that kind of pattern on it. And they're silk in the back. They don't smell good, but at least they don't stink, I guess. I guess it's where somebody had them in storage. But that's those that I got because my room is definitely going to be done in all white. And my kid, my living room, like I told you, I'm trying to do everything general neutral. Did I just say general? Oh. I'm trying to do everything like more of a neutral thing. And I can't tell you what's in these boxes just because I've been waiting on a few packages because of the snowstorm that's going off as uh, going on up in Chicago. Um, some of my packages have been extremely late, and I'm 
not complaining because I'd much rather everybody be safe than sorry. So, um, my girls have let me know if my package is going to be late or not. Right. So, in this package, what in the world is in here? Oh, I know what this is going to be. I think this is the shelf from Hobby Lobby that I've been waiting on. And I was extremely excited about this. Yeah. This is the Hobby Lobby shelf. I paid, um, what is damage to? I might want to complain though. Because I'm not more of a complainer. I'm not a complaining person. But, um, anyways, I paid, I think, $40 for this shelf. It was $30 bucks with $9.80 in shipping. So, it was like $40. Bucks. Um, technically, it's originally $50 in price. So I wasn't complaining. Who are they? Were they sent me a coupon? But anyways, I'll look for it. But I think I think this is really nice. This was mostly for my redone stuff in the kitchen. So I got those two in, and I'll show you the stuff as it comes in, guys. I gotta get rid of these boxes. I have way too many now. Say is I just asked y'all to pray for us. Um, that is the most biggest thing ever. Um, the kids are just. It's not necessarily a bad thing, I would say, but it's just something we have an unspoken prayer that we need for. Of course, the cameras are not crazy. So, this is mostly going to be, um, I'm going to add part of the vlog in there from yesterday, and then I'm going to add in um, this recipe that I made for um, keto dieting. Um, tonight, we're going to have spaghetti squash, um, and right now, I am weighing 174. Um, yesterday... Not, am I 174 or 176? 176, I think. I didn't record it this morning, so I'm like way off. But anyways, I can't remember exactly how much I weighed, but it's somewhere in between there. It's 174 and 176. Um, so I'm going to show you what um, we're going to have for our supper tonight. Um, forgive me. Please forgive me for not doing the keto diet like I should. But we just have a lot going on um, with two of our children. Um, and Mario just happened to... Um, like, I have a mirror that sits in our dining room. It was going to be put on the wall, but then I ended up changing decoration around, so I, we never put it up. So, it was just sitting up against the wall. Mario walks by it. I guess his foot hit the edge of it, and it come flying. About that time, Eva turns around, and as soon as she turns around, it, like, pop right here in the side of her eye. So, now she has a completely full black eye. So, um life of staying at home with kids which i'm pretty sure everybody's been through that difficult situation anyways um i'm going to show you i'll show you when she gets home what her eye looks like but i'm going to show y'all um i wrote this recipe down and show y'all how to make it can you show them your eyes see my eye looks so bad all right guys so here is the recipe and i try to write it down as best as i could so that you could see it it's um one whole spaghetti squash like a big whole large decent sized spaghetti squash one tablespoon of olive oil, one tablespoon of salt and black pepper each, um, one pound of hamburger, and one can slash jar of spaghetti sauce. Um, <clears throat> you're going to cut the squash in half. You're going to rub the olive oil, salt, and black pepper on the inside of the squash. Remember to remove all the seeds from the inside of it. It has like seeds. It's kind of like a pumpkin. You just need to scrape all of that out. Um, bake it at 400 um, for 45, uh, 45 to 50 minutes until... <clears throat> The flesh is easily shreddable. Make sure to place cut side down on the baking pan. Don't forget that. I did, and I was like, why is this thing not cooking for 10 minutes? And then I realized I had done it wrong. Anyways, while baking the squash, cook your hamburger and prepare your spaghetti sauce. Shred the squash and then add hamburger and spaghetti sauce. Enjoy your meal. Um, depending on your ingredients, it will tell you how many carbs. Y'all know I've explained to y'all many, many times on how to add your carbs together. So this is what I did. Um, the carbs and then seven carbohydrates, I mean, five carbohydrates and seven servings in that one can, so it was 35. My hamburger was a zero grams. And I figured out the squash will be about 50 um, carbohydrates altogether because I figured it would have about five to maybe six cups. So I come out with 85, which this squash will be 17 um, carbohydrates per serving. Um, let me show you what kind of spaghetti sauce I use. Okay, so this is the, um, red pack diced tomatoes, um, basil, garlic, and oregano. And all I did is, if you'll see, 
right here. There's the hamburger, by the way. And here is the spaghetti sauce. This, I when I buy this normally, I always buy it. My crazy nails, I haven't went and got my nails done. Um, or they need to be painted here at home, either one. But um, anyways, don't pay attention to that. Um, I normally buy the sauce, and I did not get the sauce this time. I got the dice. So I just blended it up in the um, blender. But I'm going to show you what it looks like after this video is over. Or after it gets out of the oven because I have them in the oven. Oh, I'm sorry. See, that's how the squash looks in the oven. It's baking up right now. All right, guys. So I just removed these from the oven. If you can see the steam's coming off. And I wanted to show you because I kind of wanted to show you how it needs to be like basically pulling apart like this to become like shreddable so that you can see that. But this is how they look when they get out the oven. I'm going to go ahead and shred it and put it together and then show you how it looks. All right, guys, so this is what the spaghetti squash looked like. I was going to show you how it looked as it was shredded up. So this is kind of how it looks. It's just in like literally like little angel hair pasta. And then I just, obviously this is not for me. This is for my husband, but I haven't made my plate yet. But I wanted to go ahead and show it to you before we sit down and eat and before I make my plate. But this is literally just the pasta or the um, spaghetti squash and then I put hamburger on it and then poured just like you would make a spaghetti and I poured the regular spaghetti sauce on it and then I have the Parmesan cheese um <clears throat> this is from Dollar Tree to be honest and it's actually gluten free and if it'll focus it has zero carbohydrates in it which is awesome so, um, for a dollar, it's pretty good if you don't need to use a lot. So, this is really, really good. So, um, everybody tonight is actually going to be eating the same thing, which is surprising. Jasmine actually already finished eating, and she actually really liked this one. So, we'll definitely be using this again. All right, guys. So, I wanted to add this recipe for keto cheesecake tarts. I tried it, but I did not have a chance to um, record it uh, personally myself. So here is the recipe and here is what it looks like. These are super delicious and my kids absolutely love these.